It's another traveling day. I just packed up my suitcase. Let's hit the road. Thank you. I've got a whole haul of food. This is a tradition. hours later, a canceled flight, an hour Uber drive to go to a different airport to rebook a new flight. I'm in Quebec, Quebec City, Canada. I am most definitely smelling like I was on a flight all day. So. <laughs> This summer has turned out to be a summer of travel, kind of unintentionally. I didn't have literally any summer plans going into this summer, and then all of a sudden there was so many things that came up. So today I went from Oahu all the way to the East Coast to Canada, and I'm here for a really exciting modeling work opportunity with Hollister, which is so exciting. If you watch this video, my LA vlog that I did. I recently did a campaign with them. I don't even think it's out yet, so it's kind of funny that we're doing one again because in this world, you shoot stuff way before it even comes out. So what we're doing now is for their holiday campaign. Apparently, allegedly, trucks filled with fake snow has been hauled in for this. I'm so honored and excited to be working with them again. They have just one of the best teams I've ever worked with and it was so cute. I went to get fitted today. Hi. Okay, we have a hat. We still wanna pop it on. This and then the ear Currently at my fitting. I'll show you what's going on behind these screens. <laughs> Sneakily. Just the whole team making it happen. So I just finished that. It was really sweet. When I walked in, I recognized a lot of the people that I worked with who were on the last shoot as well. And it just felt like a little family reunion. I was so excited to see them. They were so excited to see me. It was like reuniting with long distance friends. So that is why I'm here. I'm literally here for two days. And today's kind of my only day that I can kind of explore Quebec City. I'm gonna get ready. I wanna explore just the area that I'm in right now. Maybe go find a coffee just because my jet lag is horrendous. Ellie is also gonna be on this shoot, so we get to do it together again, which is so fun that I get to share this with one of my best friends and just do this together. It's so, so crazy. I'm not gonna lie, I'm in quite the chatty mood today, so I think this is just gonna be like a fun little chatty vlog, us hanging out. The good old days. <laughs> I found a little coffee shop that's still open. I really, really wanna try Tim Hortons while I'm here because I've never had it. And all the Canadian YouTubers that I watch always get Tim's. So hopefully tomorrow I get a chance, but for now, I'm just walking to a cute little shop, coffee shop that I found. I have no idea where I am and I love it. I think this is my favorite part about traveling. I don't know why. I feel comfortable doing things alone at home, but especially more so when I travel, I'm like, What is glassing? Ice. <laughs> That's what I thought. I was like, okay, context clues. <laughs> myself a nice little iced chai to power through the rest of this day. I'm walking along this really cute street. I have no idea where it is, but there's a lot of cute little stores and eateries, so I've just been walking around. I love it here. I'm excited that I have a little bit of time to explore. It's still so crazy to me that I'm old enough to like travel alone, which I've obviously been doing for a while, but I still feel like a child and so when I'm doing stuff like this I'm like who let me out into the wild?
being here has kind of been a full circle moment for me. I don't know if you remember, but the longest time ago, I think it was in 2017, I did my first ever like paid deal. So it was like the first time I'd done anything like it. It was in Montreal. My dad went with me and I just remember we were freaking out. We were so confused. We were like, what is going on? We just like this world did not exist to me yet. And even in general, it wasn't like a popular thing to be a content creator and do what I do now. I feel like now it's much more common. But back then, I just remember it was the craziest thing. We were almost like sussed out. We were like, this, there's no way this is real. We're getting flown out somewhere and getting paid. And so it's kind of a full circle moment to be back in Canada five years later, six years later. That's crazy. And be here with Hollister I don't know, it just felt super full circle and it's really cool to be back because now more than ever I feel like I'm very sure of myself and I've just grown into like this young woman that, I don't know, before I was very shy, I had a hard time being outgoing and I don't know, it was just like a scary thing to me but now, I don't know, I just feel like I thrive so it's a cool moment to be back. And I feel so grateful. Happy hour. I'm in this French little food store. I should have brought an extra suitcase. right now but I wanted to get cozy in bed because one I've had no sleep since 24 hours ago and two tomorrow is such a big day I'm so so excited for it it was so nice catching up with Ellie we were just talking for like three hours I was telling her how it feels so nice to feel confident doing this there was a period where I just wasn't in general super sure of myself I feel like I would second guess things that I did and just not fully go with my gut and I don't know I feel like there was a little bit of a lack of confidence in myself and so I don't know oh I do know what's changed I feel like I started believing in myself more and imposter syndrome is a crazy thing because it'll creep in at the most random times and it's that little creeping like thought in the back of your head that's like am I able to do this I can't do this, I'm not enough, I'm not the right person to do this. And my biggest advice when it comes to imposter syndrome is knowing that you earn the things that come your way. When an opportunity comes your way, it's coming your way for a reason. And I feel like in the past, especially with such big shoots like this, I would just get really anxious, not be super sure of myself. And I think that showed and it like not came across because I've always had a good like front of faking it and I don't know lately there's been such a shift where I just feel so confident in myself and who I am and I think one that comes with just growing up that's the nature of it I feel like the older I get the more I just feel comfortable in who I am and confident in that and I'm not ashamed to be me where I think there was a point where I was. I was actually talking about this with my seat neighbor on the plane coming from Hawaii to LA. He was this maybe like 70, 75 year old man and we got to talking. We talked for like two and a half hours of the flight and it was really nice. At first I was like, okay, where's this conversation gonna go? And he ends up giving me a lot of his life advice and wisdom. I think there's so much to be learned from older people just because the more life experience you have the more you have to share the more knowledge you have he was asking me about what i do and where i was going and what i was going for and i was kind of explaining to him and he was like you put yourself in such a good position you created so much luck for yourself 
and I've always wanted to talk about that concept about how sometimes you do get lucky with things but I think a lot of the time you put your you put yourself in a position to be lucky it's just so crazy if I could tell myself like two years ago that I would feel the way I do now I just wouldn't believe it I think the older I got and the more I started believing in myself and really internalizing that and just constantly telling myself like you are who you are own who you are you don't have to be ashamed who you, of who you are of your personality you don't have to try to be someone you're not the more i started trusting myself and trusting my instincts it's just leaked into so many areas of my life and i feel like that's where so much of my confidence has grown so it feels really good to be in this place to feel like i am meant to be here and i'm really excited for tomorrow's shoot I don't feel nervous at all. I love doing stuff like this. I think it is the coolest thing. And I never would have believed that these would be opportunities that I would get to experience and be a part of. So I don't know. I wanted to say this just as a little reminder that you can do whatever you want to do. You have the ability to do it. Put yourself in a position to be lucky. Work hard for what you want. And you're always where you me you're meant to be and i have felt such a shift in this last year this year particularly i think one of my biggest advice with saying all of this is that never stop believing in yourself pour into you it's not always going to be easy there's always going to be highs and lows i don't know your 20s are such a weird period of life i don't know i feel like i even only being 22, I feel like I, I don't want to say wasted so many years, but there were so many years of my life that I spent bullying myself, like self-bullying, getting down on myself, being super self-deprecating, and that just does nothing for you. It all starts up here, <laughs> and it takes work, it takes effort. There's still so many things that I want to work on within myself, and I just think that's Part of life i think there's always going to be things that you want to work on and you want to grow and that's just a part of it that's something to look forward to i don't know i just i don't want to be i don't want to look back on my life and i would tell this to myself when i would get super down on myself and just get in a really negative headspace i don't want to be older one day and look back being like i wasted so much of my youth worrying about what other people thought being mean to myself for what it's an ever growing process and i think that's exciting yeah Makeup's done. Bats gets a shoot in. Let's go. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Many different voices. We so we are in this cute little town. It kind of looks like. Well, you've been to Europe. Does it kind of remind you of Europe? It looks identical to Europe. It's freaking me out. It does so not feel like we're. Canada yeah, right now. It's and so it's supposed to be winter right now because it's like a holiday campaign. There's so fake snow. there's fake snow. There's trucks that were like imported with fake snow. Oh my god, I need to see this. I can't wait to go like try and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're standing here, and Ellie goes, "Our campaign what the from the last the time just that? launched today. Literally today. It's been what three months? Uh huh." I'm on the so front sorry. cover, baby. Literally on the front, on the home page. <laughs> home page of Hollister. So we're gonna recreate this today. No chess. No chess from Sally. <laughs> or me today. <laughs> so they are currently setting up a little Christmas scene and it's so funny. They just have buckets and buckets of this fake snow because it's literally 
the middle of summer <laughs> and it fully looks like we are just in like a little winter wonderland so movie magic production magic this is our current little scene it's very festive it's currently so hot but we're in our cute little outfits yeah this is the heaviest winter coat oh there are like thousands of people <laughs> trying to understand why we're dressed like this. They're like, why? what is they doing? What is they doing out here? <laughs> Got outfit number three, last look of the day. Here's a little, a little makeshift reindeer for the day. We just wrapped our shoot day. Yay! This is the camera. What's up, vlog? What's up, vlog? These are the other models. What's up? We here. What's that? For my vlog camera. What's that, like a For makeup mirror camera? <laughs> and just like that, my time in Canada has come up. We had about an 11 hour day today. It was so, so fun. I love the Hollister team. Everyone is so lovely and they just have created such a good community within their own company. And I just felt like reuniting with like old friends. And so I had the best day. Ellie and I got to shoot so much together. I think it's so cool that I get to do a campaign with one of my best friends who I grew up with who I grew up on the internet with and just be a part of such a big campaign. So this is gonna be a holiday campaign. I don't think it's even gonna come out until like December probably during the holiday season. But today could not have gone better. We were shooting in the streets of like the old town in Quebec and it was absolutely stunning. It looked like a European landscape. They had a fake snow going. You would never know, unless you're watching this video, that the campaign was filmed on the most humid day. As soon as they yelled cut for each take, we would be like getting fans on us, taking off all our layers. It was really funny. So shout out to the Hollister team for this amazing opportunity. I will just always feel so grateful because I grew up wearing them. I grew up wearing those Hollister shirts that like said Hollister. Like that was my uniform back in the day. I would beg for a new pair of Hollister pants every year. And I think my first time working with them was in 2017 when I did the Carpe Challenge. If you remember that, that was super fun. So I'm just feeling super grateful. I'm really proud of myself for today. Like I said, I think my confidence has just grown so much and I didn't have any nerves today. I just felt so good. And I think that's just the environment I was in too. Everyone being super supportive. And I'm just like, ah, I have to wake up in two hours to go to the airport because I'm out of here tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. So that being said, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you for watching and for supporting and for being here. I love you. I do.